outfitters and those in the fly fishing business are so concerned about the dwindling trout population in the Big Hole River and other rivers in southwest Montana that they're starting to put up their own money to fund scientific research that they hope will solve this problem. I don't think this is a, a sky is falling, the rivers are dead scenario. This is a call to action now so that we preserve the integrity of these rivers for the future. A coalition of outfitters and fishing guides recently formed Save Wild Trout in response to a report showing low numbers of brown and rainbow trout, especially young trout in the Big Hole River. The group is raising money to pay for a pathologist to conduct an independent study of fish in the Big Hole, Ruby, and Beaverhead rivers. We're essentially not really confident that the Fish, Wildlife, and Parks in the governor's office is doing enough to get to the bottom of what's going on. Why, why are, you know, one of the most iconic rivers in Montana and possibly the western United States is suddenly, you know, falling to, you know, 50-year lows in trout numbers. In a June 19th letter, Governor Greg Gianforte assured the Save Wild Trout Group that FWP has prioritized and will develop and implement additional fish population and health studies on the Big Hole, Beaverhead, and Ruby Rivers. Felon said he will share data from their independent study with FWP in the hopes that it will help come up with a solution sooner than later. We need to fix this now so that these fisheries are resilient and, and we'll have a robust fishery moving forward. Craig Felon started guiding on the river with Big Hole Lodge almost 40 years ago and said the Big Hole is more than just a river. My heart and soul, uh, it, it's uh, one of the most beautiful rivers in, in the world and there's more to fly fishing than catching a bunch of trout. Just to float down this river re rejuvenates the soul. They hope to get the study started by this summer. In Wise River, John Amy, MTN News.